four products that I created that... Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Today I bring you another video which I'm so excited for. If you don't already know, I am a 21 year old college student, full time college student. I am currently studying biochemistry with the hopes of one day going to med school. Two years ago I opened up my Etsy shop where I sell digital planners, digital stickers, digital notebooks, and other related products. And so that is what is helping me pay for my apartment and all of my other bills. I do live on my own own. I don't live with my parents. I don't have a place to go to at my parents anymore. So my Etsy shop is what helps me basically live. And I think once I turned 18, my parents were just kind of under the assumption that I was going to be my full like own independent adult. And so I've been living on my own, sustaining on my own for approximately three years now. This last year I've been like fully independent as far as like how I want to budget my money. I asked on a few of my different platforms, but especially on Instagram, a lot of you wanted to see kind of the behind the scenes of my business and kind of how I operate and I want to say that it's definitely have changed a lot as far as how I operate. I'm still trying to get into kind of a schedule. I'm not like in a full routine yet as far as running my Etsy shop and doing a little bit more of the behind the scenes work but it's something that I've come to enjoy over time and I really do look forward to waking up and coming over here to my desk to work on my shop and my business for the day. Again, I am a full-time college student so it is more difficult for me to kind of dedicate more time to this but since it being the summer and I've had more time with quarantine and everything with things moving online and stuff, I've had a lot more time to put into my business so I'm seeing what works and what doesn't. I have developed kind of a full schedule for myself so let's go ahead and jump into what that looks like. I'm still exploring. I haven't fully adopted this weekly business schedule because I, again, this is something that I just recently created, something that I hope to stick to, something that I think will work for me during the summer. I don't think this will quite work for me during the school year yet, but I'm still like waiting to hear what my fall semester will look like. So for Sunday, I have it scheduled to where I uh, schedule my newsletter. I have a bi-weekly newsletter that you guys or customers directly from my Etsy shop can sign up for and I send newsletter exclusive freebies. I also send discount codes monthly that you can use in my shop to get a discount on your purchase obviously. I also run giveaways to the newsletter as well as just kind of a behind the scenes update as far as the products I'm working on, some sneak peeks and some other things. I try to treat my newsletter subscribers well so I release that every other Sunday at 8 a.m. So on Sundays I have scheduled newsletter if applicable. Recently understood and like have learned about the value of using social media for my business and so I am making a point to be on there daily. So on Sunday I have it to where I should schedule my Instagram post and my Facebook post for the week because I do have a Facebook group as well as schedule Pinterest posts for the week because I love Pinterest and I wanna try and use Pinterest for my business as well. So I have schedule all of my posts for the week and then obviously during the day I'll hop on, I'll respond to comments, respond to DMs and messages. That's something that I wanna do daily. And then on Monday, I have it to where I should film a YouTube video and the YouTube video that I film on Monday will be uploaded the following Sunday. So I have a little less than a week to edit. I wanna make sure that I produce the best content, not only filming on that Monday, but also going behind the scenes and editing so it's like pristine condition. And then on Tuesday, I want to hopefully get a blog post out on Tuesdays. So I have opened up a blog section on my website. You have expressed like wanting to read. Yeah, I hope to release some blog posts about digital planning and like using your iPad creatively and stuff. So we're gonna try and shoot for every Tuesday for blog posts. Wednesday, I don't have anything specifically scheduled for my business, but again, every day I wanna respond to comments and emails and DMs, as well as work on products throughout the week for my Etsy shop. And then Thursday, I have it to where I do kind of like a digital check-in on my Facebook groups. I have a Facebook group related to digital planning and digital products and notebooks and stuff. And it's a place where people can turn to to not only share their creations that they've made, but also get help from other members of the group or myself, just do a little check-in. 
It's not something I've done before, but I thought it would be super nice and super unique to do in the group as well. Friday, I have Freebie Friday scheduled for the Facebook group. I am notorious for not keeping up with Freebie Friday. Mm. I'm not sure how to fill out the sliding, but since I have more time, I'm hoping to do a freebie Friday every week and hopefully by scheduling it kind of like a week in advance almost. And then Saturday, I have filmed another YouTube video, but this YouTube video is for the following Wednesday's upload. So again, I have kind of like a week or a little less than a week to edit and make sure that that video is quality before it is released Wednesday. And then again, like I said, every day I want to make sure that I respond to comments and emails and messages, your DMs, as well as work on products throughout the week for my shop. So this is kind of how I have my business routine laid out. Yeah, so like I said, I literally, this is so new, I haven't stuck to it yet. This is the routine I'm hoping to develop over the summer before my fall classes start or in the fall if I find that this is a good routine to work with during the school year. So hopefully next week I'll be able to pick it up and really just get into it. So the first thing that I like to do is I just come over to my desk and I review my to-do list from the night before. And so just a few things I want to get done. I definitely want to work on the teacher planner and stickers today. That is something that I've been working on for the past, I want to say two weeks now and it's not halfway done yet and I want to get halfway done at least by today. So we'll cross some fingers that we get at least halfway today. I also want to make a merch graphic. I recently, re I recently released merch. I don't know if I've mentioned that in other videos, but I have merch now. So if you're interested, then please check that out. I'm so excited for my stuff to come in, but I'm going to create a merch graphic for Pinterest and my Instagram story, just so you guys are aware of stuff that I am releasing. I also want to film two tutorials today, so I'm kind of batch filming today. Hello, hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys on the community tab of my channel what video you wanted to see, and you all voted on a gift tutorial in Procreate. You all wanted to see a studio vlog, so I'm really excited to film that, but you also wanted to see some Procreate tutorials, so I'm hoping to film those out today because the Procreate tutorials are a little bit easier to film, just since it's kind of just me doing an intro and an outro and then I like film on my iPad. So I'm hoping to batch film today. We're going to see how that goes. So film two Procreate tutorials. I also want to respond to your comments. I did post a video a little more, or sorry, a little less than an hour ago. So I have been active trying to respond to your comments. I try to stay around an hour to respond to your comments. I also want to make sure that I post on Instagram and interact with you all since I don't have post scheduled for the, this week. I've been posting organically for the last two or three weeks. I also want to edit my newsletter template. The current template I'm using now is kind of outdated and I don't particularly like it as much anymore. So I want to update that newsletter template and I also want to go ahead and start writing out the newsletter. That way I can work on it more tomorrow and then have it ready to go for Sunday morning for you all. I also want to edit some pictures that I took. I took some pictures of my iPad in a very artsy way. So I want to go ahead and edit those so I can post them on my Instagram eventually. So that is all that I have scheduled for today. And despite it sounding super long, I like to schedule more stuff than I can probably feasibly get done in a day. Just because if I happen to have like a super productive day for whatever reason, I get everything done, then that's great. And if not, then I'm fine with just moving it to the next day. So if I ever don't get anything done, I just put like a little arrow and then I move it on to the next day. And I, I don't have any particular um, order I want to get these done in. These are just things that I want to get done for the day. Okay, so I finished my... What was I going to say? finished filming the gift tutorial and the... Uh, interlaced text tutorial for Procreate since I decided to batch film today. So I just finished filming both of those tutorials and I went ahead and posted on Instagram. Scrolling back through and responding to your comments on the video that I posted today, it seems like you guys really like the video I posted today, so that's exciting. Hopefully you like more of the videos that are coming out on this channel. So, for the rest of the day, or for most of the rest of the day, I want to work on the, my pen. So for the rest of the day, I wanted to work on the teacher planner and stickers. I want to get that out ASAP so the teachers that follow me on my like Etsy shop and in my Facebook group and some of you here can go ahead, purchase it, start planning for the next school year. 
I have like put so much work into this planner. Like I put so many different design elements that I don't usually put in my planners. I usually put quite a bit, especially in my more realistic products, but this one I'm drawing like so many of the details. I'm like decorating this planner more than I normally would because I usually leave a lot of like creative flows um, so you can like customize and decorate your planners and notebooks however you want. However, this one I'm definitely decorating it more. I feel like teachers are going to have a little bit less time to design and have like a really great product during the school year whenever they're planning for their students. Obviously, I left like a lot of um, I left a lot of space to customize it and make it your own, but I felt like decorating it and making it a little bit more special would be really nice for our teachers, especially given the the state of the world and how it has been for them for the past few months. So I'm trying to release like kind of like an all-inclusive bundle for this digital planner. I plan on releasing a font with it, stickers, the planner itself, maybe a few other things I haven't decided yet. I'm like setting deadlines for myself as far as my products go because then I feel like I rush it out and I don't put it at the highest quality condition that it could be if I like hadn't pressured myself for a deadline. So you've already seen a few sneak peeks of it. Hopefully those of you who are teachers who have seen sneak peeks of it enjoy, but here's just kind of like a little, can you even see that? What is with this lighting? Planner. Um, this is one of the pages I have decorated. So here is the students tab. I include a little quote related to teaching or teaching students um, on each of the section tabs. And then over on this side, I kind of have an index for that section. And then so for the student section, I have kind of student info. I have birthdays. A lot of teachers that I've talked to requested for birthdays in their planner. And then I have a behavior log as well as a grade tracker. I also included a seating chart. I'm sure to leave a few blank tabs for you to customize it as your own because I'm not going to try and assume that there's everything you need in this planner. Obviously, I'm going to try and put as much as I can in this planner that you need, but I want to make sure to leave a few sections blank so if you are a teacher and you do purchase this planner, you can add more sections. The foundation of the planner is there. It is, that is done. I just gotta go in and make these layouts essentially. And we're gonna do that for most of the day. Okay, so my camera's about to die, so that's no fun. But I did work on the teacher planner for the last, I wanna say, three or four hours I honestly have lost track of time and that is what happens a lot with my projects I start working on it I kind of get lost get like super like hyper focused into what I'm doing and I have literally just basically done that today besides respond to like a few emails some of your comments post on Instagram and I want to say I'm about 45 percent of the way finished and I only say that because I have a little more than 10 more templates that I want to finalize as well as some new sticker ideas so I was brainstorming more stickers to add in the sticker collection that will come with this planner and so I obviously need to get some of those stickers done but yeah that's basically just kind of how I operate I don't usually go in with like a super strict plan I just write down to do's that I want to get done that day and if it gets done it gets done and if it doesn't I just move it over to the next day all right, well, my camera died while I was in the middle of talking, but I was basically just saying that I'm probably just going to work on the teacher planner for the rest of the night. Um, it is currently 8.28, so 8.30, and I've basically been working on this all day. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not complaining about it whatsoever. I've kind of been putting off doing the teacher planner every now and again, like, I had it planned for yesterday and I had it planned for the day before, but I kept doing other little tasks instead. Less ta like tasks that are still important, but I think less important than getting this release out for teachers out there who need it. So I'm perfectly satisfied with how my day went and how this studio vlog went. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, there weren't any other really tasks that I did today that I didn't otherwise film, except um, I, printed out labels and um, packaged up my ring light that I purchased from Amazon that I'm returning. I'm not really happy with the quality of the ring light that I received for the amount I paid for. 
So I just packaged that up and I'm going to drop that off tomorrow um, for a return and I'm going to buy a replacement lighting situation because my apartment has skylights and these really gorgeous windows. However, even when there is really great lighting, I still don't get as much light in because my apartment complex is surrounded by a lot of trees, which is really nice when we're going on walks and things, but not so nice whenever I'm trying to get great lighting for these videos. So as you can see, it's pretty dark out. It was raining earlier, which is really nice to work to to hear kind of like the rain. It was kind of thunderstorming a bit, but thankfully, um, the power didn't go out and we're fine but yeah so that's kind of just the behind the scenes a little bit of my day usually i work on a lot of more little tasks like editing my website or creating graphics and stuff which you can see in my how i use my ipad every day video if you haven't already seen that i'll link it down below and in this video but i really enjoyed that video so i hope you all enjoyed that video as well and i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this feel free to leave that down in the comments below it was really interesting to try and film the behind the scenes work of my business and kind of how I operate. I'm still kind of working on like how I want to operate in the routine that I want to do. So hopefully you found that fun and enjoyable to watch. So I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, what? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and sus what? Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.